All right, welcome back to my channel. This 1050 has already been disassembled. I've already taken the RF shield off. I'm going to cheat by leaving it connected, but I'm going to undo this one here. Just flip it over so I don't have to undo all the other connections. We're going to pop these chips up ever so slightly delicately. This isn't the best angle, but for your viewing pleasure, remove that chip right there. That's good. Move this ever so gently, like my professional chip puller. I've already had these out. I reseated them when I got this drive. And a 600 XL and an 850 interface for 50 bucks. Can't beat that. There's chip two. Howdy. I save them. Here's our new Happy 1050 board from Atari Max. Take off the little back connector there. And she goes in ever so gently. Just like that. I double check to make sure it's in correctly. Give it a nice little push. She's in. Carefully flip this back over. I'm going to plug my little other guy back in. This gets flipped over. Hopefully I can get up to seat within a relatively short time. Sometimes they fight you. And it's in. Yeah, usually when I get these drives, I, I take off, before I clean them, I take off the RF shield. And then I clean it all. So that remote, that involves, you know, taking it all apart, cleaning all the plastic. I clean the top plastic and all that kind of stuff. Clean the rails, lube the rails. These caps look good, but... In essence, all caps should be, really be replaced. But that's it. This puppy's been happyized. So all that, all that remains is, uh, oh, Steven gives you that. Gives you instructions. And then uh, high speed software, testing software, diagnostic software. So we will test that later. Then the lid. Get my little cheater towel out of the way here. back on go on relatively easy there we go providing I got the drive in right which I didn't there we go lid that's it and then the screws Boom, 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 boom. Two, three, four. This is my first one of these videos, so I hope it goes pretty well. There's that. I never use electric screwdrivers. I learned that when I first started this on an 800. Cracked the entire th posts. On one of them, I was like, eh. "Yeah, these are forty-six bucks shipped from AtariMax.com." Stephen Tucker, good guy, good products. Love is one megabit and eight megabit carts. I got them all. That's it. That has been happy eyes, baby. Here's the two ROMs. Warp speed software. And we'll be back with a, with a video showing you the testing software. Yeah, visit, visit Steve. He's got good stuff. Anyway, thanks for tuning in. Pretty simple. If you got a 1050, Find them cheap, put a happy in it, you get yourself a sweet drive. Yeah. So, yep. Once again, thanks again to Steven at uh, Atari Max. 
for his excellent products and excellent customer service. For people like him, I would not be able to do videos like this and repair and restore all your 8-bit goodies. Yeah. So anyways, thanks for tuning in. I'm glad you enjoyed this video. Here's a little talking hand thing I thought I'd throw in at the end just to do a little bedazzling. Anyway, thanks much for tuning in, and we'll see you with the follow-up video where I run the Happy Diagnostic software. All right? Take care. Bye-bye.